Dr. Machino, I just had very painful surgery and I do not respond very well to the medications they're giving me. What are some alternatives to help with the pain? Well, you know, people who are in pain are often prescribed medication to kill the pain. And some of these painkillers have some noted side effects that, be, that can be quite serious. And so people sometimes go searching for natural and safe alternatives. That's what I'm going to share with you in this video. But here's the typical protocol in today's healthcare system that leads to a lot of problems. Typically, medical doctors prescribe pain-killing synthetic drugs for pain, things like acetaminophen, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like aspirin, ibuprofen, indomethacin, Voltaren, or if there's a lot of pain, narcotic drugs. The problem is that any one of these drugs in these classes of drugs can produce some very serious adverse side effects if you take them over a long enough period of time. So for instance, with acetaminophen, we know it does extensive liver and kidney damage over time. It's the leading cause of liver failure due to drugs uh, in this country. And it also does kidney damage. More and more people now need dialysis later in life because they've used too many acetaminophen pills over their lifetime to kill pain. Now with non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like aspirin, ibuprofen, Voltaren, uh, Celebrex, Indomethacin, you know it can cause stomach irritation, which can lead to erosion of the stomach and even ulceration. So you develop an ulcer, then the ulcer starts to bleed. Thousands of people die each year from internal bleeding as a result of taking these drugs on too frequent a basis. Now, uh, those drugs also do some kidney damage, so they can lead to a thing called uh, analgesic nephropathy. And other than aspirin, the other drugs in this category are linked to sudden death heart attack because they cause thrombosis or the platelets clump together and form a clot and the blood can't flow. And these drugs are also linked to increased high blood pressure, congestive heart failure, even low dose aspirin, a baby aspirin linked to increased bleeding internally in, in the intestinal tract, also bleeding into the brain. So none of these things are totally safe and that includes narcotic drugs like Percodan, Percocet, Oxycodone, Oxycontin, Hydromorphine, because, as you know, these drugs can produce an, ad an addiction. The person feels euphoric when they take it. Then there's physical dependency. Then when you try to withdraw from the drug, um, you start to get, you need your fix because your body's starting to have withdrawal symptoms. And then people end up with lack of motivation, lack of productivity, they lose their job, and they sort of, they, they start to waste their life away. And this is a serious problem. Governments now around the world are reigning in the prescribing of these drugs by physicians because this is an escalating problem that is now starting to uh, really uh, become alarming right across the population. Now the good news is that in recent years we've seen studies with a natural agent. It's called the California poppy. And this herb contains natural ingredients that not only relieve pain, but also help to induce a good night's sleep with no addiction potential, no euphoria, no liver or kidney damage, no cardiovascular side effects. Now why is this important? Because when people are in pain, often the pain keeps them worse, uh, makes them makes worse at night, or the person has trouble getting to sleep at night because the pain is actually increasing at night. And so they tend to lose sleep. And when you lose sleep, it makes recovery much more difficult. And you wake up and you're fatigued and you become despondent because you've got chronic fatigue. People become depressed and then they lose compliance with the rehabilitation treatment plan and so the problem just becomes cyclical. So with the California poppy studies, what we're seeing is that it relieves pain and it also induces sleep, so it helps the person in pain fall asleep at night and stay asleep through the entire night so they wake up and they're refreshed, they can function better, there's no side effects, there's no addiction potential. And the new studies are showing that some people, uh, even through the day, if they're in a hospital or at home and they're recovering from injuries or from surgery, taking the California poppy can even be used for daytime pain. But because it has sedative effects, if you have to drive a car, operate a heavy machinery, or really stay alert, then it wouldn't be appropriate to take California poppy supplements through the day. Now the active ingredients in California poppy are really unique. They're these isoquinoline alkaloids which bind to opioid receptors in the brain and to serotonin receptors in the brain and so they kill the pain and they also help to induce sleep so you get a good night's sleep. It's, it's really sensational. So, but you also need the effective dosage. So you would take one or two capsules an hour before you go to bed at night. 500 milligrams or 600 milligrams. The 500 milligram capsule has to be standardized to 6 to 1. The 600 milligram capsule standardized to 5 to 1 extract. Now there's some precautionary notes. 
He can't take the California poppy supplement with narcotic drugs, sleeping pills, or any anti-anxiety drugs. Um, if a person's already using narcotic drugs, if there's already dependency, they have to work with their physician to slowly wean themselves off the narcotic drug while introducing the California poppy supplement as a substitute. But I'll tell you the bottom line is this. The California poppy supplementation is the best proven natural alternative to common pain medications. I've seen it work really well with my own patients. A lot of my colleagues report exactly the same thing. So I hope this was helpful. I'm Dr. James Machino. Thanks so much for watching.